was our first time at UC Expo. Um, I was talking a little bit more about how people associate um, Amazon and AWS and maybe have a knowledge about that, but they don't necessarily know about Amazon Chime which is a UC offering um, from AWS. One of the key points is, number one, we're available in this space, but Amazon Chime is an application that is a pay-as-you-go um, service, which is fairly unique in the industry. The industry is um, usually about licensing and complex um, models with contracts and three-year buy-ins in order to get the lowest possible price. Amazon Chime is really a service that's about paying for the services you use. So end users have the ability to use the service when they need it, and administrators are only charged when in fact the services are used. One of the reasons that personally I think um, myself and my team like to come to events like this is because it's really a great opportunity to hear from partners and customers and to really see what's going on. Um, AWS and Amazon are a company that really um, pride ourselves on listening to the voice of the customer and trying to build offerings and services. Um, and so having the ability to interact with people as they walk um, along the show floor and learn about what the needs are um, really provides us with the opportunity to then go ahead and go back um, and build the services that customers are asking for. One of the things that um, our users always tell us they love about Amazon Chime is a feature that um, is the auto start to meetings. So instead of meetings being an outlet calendar and having to dial in and fumble for devices, uh, we are on the web, mobile, and laptop clients. And all of those devices at the beginning of a meeting just instantly ring. And so if I'm walking across the expo floor or if I'm sitting at my desk or I'm running late to a meeting, my device is automatically going to ring. And it's not uncommon for me to take a call starting from my mobile, run to my office, get into my office, put my headset on there, take it there, realize I'm running 10 minutes late for another meeting on the other end, switch devices. Um, and so that's, one of, that's a truly unique feature. There's multiple changes across the industry. I think whenever I think about this industry, I always think about it as a bridge to the past, bridge to the future, because as much as the industry really is changing, um, it's very mobile first, it's the ability to work anywhere, all of those different things are, are key aspects. You still have to be able to integrate with the things like a traditional desk phone or somebody who still wants to be able to dial a number. And so really I think the applications and the services of today have to do both. They have to provide customers the ability to move into the future, but they also have to, have to allow, especially IT admins, to leverage the infrastructure and the goods and services that they've already purchased. And so I think it's a really critical time in the industry because while the, the future and the AI and the machine learning is all super exciting and it's um, a lot of where we want to go, I think we have to make sure that we're bringing all of our um, end users and all of our customers along with us on that journey. And we don't get so far out in front that we're doing really cool things that no one knows how to use. And so for me, it's that critical time in history where we have to leverage all of the um, excellent learnings of the past as we move into the future.